and welcome to another review. It's time to test those mics. Create the sync. Okay, so this is just a wee quick test. Um, I have set up in front of me the Canon 70D with the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, the Rode VideoMic Pro is directly into the 7D. It's not going through the Tascam. Um, I've set the recording level to manual in the camera with the plus 20 dB, so the signal should be um, pretty decent. I can see it on the screen. It's looking a wee bit low. No! But this is typically what I'd set it up at. Um, because you don't want the, the levels to clip. So you're currently hearing me through the 70D with the Rode VideoMic Pro. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to the Tascam, um, the Tascam 70D. The Tascam DR70D is set up in front of me with a ridiculously long XLR cable uh, plugged in to a boom pole going up and the Rode NTG1 is above my head. So we're now going to cut to that now, so you're now hearing me through the Rode NTG1 going into the Tascam. Um, I have synced these up in post, uh, so it'll be interesting to see if the quality has significantly changed. Hopefully it has, because I've just paid £200 for this recorder for this purpose. Um, I suppose the comparison is a bit unfair, because the Rode VideoMic Pro is not as close to me as the Rode NTG1 is currently right above my head. The but I don't have time to set up both of them up here and I don't have a big extension cable for the Rode VideoMic Pro to go back into my camera so it's just not happening right? Typically I would always have the Rode VideoMic Pro on top of my camera as a backup um, I very rarely use it as the main source of audio because it still sucks compared to Pro Audio or even a lavalier setup which conveniently I also have on so we're now going to cut to my lavalier setup, which is the Zoom H1 and the Giant Squid Audio Mic, which is just down here. Um, so we'll now cut to that. So you're now hearing me through the Zoom H1 with the lavalier um, to see if that is better or similar to the Rode NTG1 that you just heard me in. So yeah, um, I don't really know what to talk about. It's more just a case of it was a test, you know. It was just a test to to see uh, all the different mics and how they would sound. Especially while I just talk mince. And I'll actually, later on in editing, I'll cut between both this Canon 70D and then, you know, taking my mincey talk back across to the Rode NTG1 into the Tascam and then, you know, after a little while of gibberish I'll cut back to the lavalier with the Rode Zoom H1 with the Giant Squid Audio. There's so many mics being used here, I'm so confused and conflicted in my mind. Um, as I ramble mints, maybe you'll get a sense of what kind of setup and quality you can get from these different mics and sources and everything. The reason why I bought the Tascam Canon 70D is uh, I have quite a lot of interview job things coming up and I needed a, a more professional device. Now I do have the Zoom H4n but the preamps are pretty guff on it and uh, I heard the Tascam's preamps are better. So it will be interesting to see if they are because if they're not I may cry that I've just spent £200 unnecessarily on an item which is similar to the Zoom H4n. Now, in an interview situation, I probably would use the Zoom H1 with the lavalier, but it's not always ideal when people don't have certain types of clothes that you can clip a mic onto, or they're just not comfortable having you touching them, you know, with the, with a mic. So you stick a boom above their head and keep it out of shot, and you get better audio that way. But anyway, that has been my test, so hopefully that was somewhat useful. Please leave any questions in the comments below. Room noise, room noise, is there any room noise? That man has positively lost his mind, I tell you. He's lost his flaming mind.
Okay, so that concludes our little test. Um, as another wee test, I'm about to plug my Shure SM58 into the Tascam 70D, but that'll be another video. So if you're interested in that, check out my channel because it'll probably be up. Um, so yeah, because I'm going to be using this for uh, guest video messages at weddings and having the Shure and people talking into it, just to make sure I get a decent enough signal with it. So I'll do a wee test with the Canon 70D in a moment, but that'll be another video. Please feel free to ask any stupid questions and comment on how you didn't understand my accent. YouTube is just full of abuse. All these abusive people. More tips, reviews and all that jazz coming soon. Cheers.